All right, we are here at Tabletop Tokens. Why don't you show us what we've got here? Yes, uh, we make custom tokens for all your gaming needs. This is a classic example of a D&D setup possible for uh, oh, yeah. gaming. We do all the artwork ourselves. Um, yeah, it's very clear. I don't know how well it comes up on the camera, but they are, that is crystal clear. Now that's um, glass beads, is it? Yes, it's uh, glass with an image underneath and uh, metal base. So they're scratch proof and waterproof. That's awesome. And you were saying we can do custom designs if we want? Yes, uh, custom designs are most welcome. Uh, they come in four sizes, from uh, large to really, really small. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Greetings all. This is Harry Nick. And the footage you just saw was from a couple of months ago. Uh, that was from PAX Australia. And while I was there, I caught up with a few different manufacturers that make... Uh, various items for tabletop games. Tabletop Tokens are a company that makes tokens primarily for RPGs, but being that they are fairly generic tokens, they can be used in other games. We talk here on this channel about predominantly X-Wing, and as soon as I saw these, I thought, hey, these would be fantastic for X-Wing. So, I went ahead and ordered a bunch of these things, uh, a few of their generic tokens from their online store, and also a few custom-made ones. So let's open up this bad boy and take a look at what they look like. So here's the box here, and right off the bat, I gotta say, this isn't really necessary, having such a nice box, but it is appreciated. Uh, basically, I got this in a postage satchel, and it has a nice uh, logo that's been cut out and pasted on. It's just a nice touch of detail that they didn't really need to do, but I do appreciate it nonetheless. So let's open this up and take a look. First up, we've got a nice embossed business card. Ooh, there we go, beautiful. And there's all their details in case you guys wanna see. I will put all this in the link down below, so don't stress if you miss this. But before we go into the tokens themselves, let's have a look at this bag here, because this is not something I thought I was gonna get, but they come with a nice little fabric bag. Similar to the um, prizes you get from X-Wing tournaments. In fact, I have one of those bags around here. Let me just go get that. Right here, I currently have it full of tokens, but this is an FFG uh, sort of token bag that they give you. And in terms of the quality, it feels pretty much the same. This one's a bit more rigid, I guess. Um, a bit more sturdy, perhaps? I don't know. I kind of like the softer one, but at the same time, I, I didn't pay for this. This was just a freebie in the box, so really pleased with that, actually. So first off, I got a bunch of these, what they call aqua glitter tokens, and I got these, in case you couldn't tell, as shield tokens. I'll just get them out here, so we can all see. Oh, no, it's all stuck. Hang on, jump cut. And here they are, all out of their pouch. They look very nice. Now, there's two reasons why I wanted to get this token. A, it's very bright, it's very vivid, and it's very easy to spot across the table. So there's going to be no doubt in your mind when you glance across uh, at your opponent's ship or at your own ship for that matter, you'll know exactly how many shield tokens you have. But also, probably more importantly, these are relatively quite small. In fact, they have some FFG shield tokens just here. There's one of the cardboard ones and you can see it is significantly smaller. And this is something I quite like because one of the things about the shield tokens as they are is they tend to cover up the card. They tend to take up a lot of space on the table and I'm not really a fan of that. In fact, let's just bring it over here. Here's a pilot card, IG-88A, a ship I'm in no danger of using anytime soon. And usually when you have your six shields, you'd stack them on, you'd go there, 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 there. And by the time they're all on there, you basically can't see your ship. Six of these little bad boys, or rather four, if I can learn to count the shields on my ship. We go like that. And that's pretty neat. I like that because you have all the shields on a ship and you can still read most of the cards. Now, I, I know on some ships that have more shields that might be more uh, difficult to do, but even on a YB666, for example, with six shields, you're not going to struggle if I can just pick these up. These are hard to grip, I will admit that. Probably a little bit of a downside, but even like that, it's absolutely fine. You're going to have no confusion there. I can even foresee these being really good at just going right next to the card like that. There. There we go. Save a lot of space. Just have it just like that on the table. Uh, barely adding a couple of centimeters or say an inch to the side of your card. And they're just really good vivid little tokens and I'm really happy I've got them because 
I think these are going to be the default shield tokens I use from now on. What I was using before these, I had previously had glass beads, for example, and these are quite good. These um, serve the purpose really good. They don't scuff your hand. They're nice and smooth to pick up. Uh, but again, they're still quite large. I also have a set of these Etherworks shield tokens. And if you want some aftermarket acrylic tokens, I can strongly recommend these. They do work out to be a bit cheaper than these ones here. Uh, but again, it's still a bit washed out, a bit dull looking. Uh, the camera actually really picks this up quite well. I can tell you, looking at this, uh, not through the viewfinder, but with my naked eye, this doesn't look as vivid. If you have this on a dark table, for example, that doesn't show up as well. And I think these are really cool because they have a nice silver backing like that. They're not going to be washed out by a black table. They're going to look nice and vivid no matter where they are. Let's just put all this aside because there's one more thing I want to show you guys. And that's these custom tokens I had made. These are various tokens of different characters from X-Wing that I thought, hey, I'd like some nice aftermarket tokens of. And these have just come out fantastically. I cannot stress that enough. All the um, images I've used here are from various FFG art. Uh, so I, I can't give these away as prizes, sorry guys. Um, it's something that if you want to do, you'd have to get done yourself. But basically we have Emperor Palpatine, Callus, and Greedo. They're all using their X-Wing art. And if we get a nice close look, Palpatine came out really well because I was able to use an image from my computer that was a particularly high resolution. And I, the camera's really struggling to focus on that. That's come out really, really well. Even the Kylo Ren. Now this is from a playmat for Destiny. Again, art by FFG. Come out really well. I was expecting to see a bit of pixel tearing on those, I don't know, silver stripes on the top of his forehead. That's absolutely fine. Hux is from a Destiny card. Again, I'll see how close I can get make this camera focus. No, it's about there, isn't it? And I can tell you it's not the camera blurring this or compressing this. This does look as smooth as it appears. And the great thing about these tokens as well is if you look at it side on, you can see you can still see the image. When you get to like really flat on, yeah, you start to get way too much distortion. But the whole idea is no matter what angle you're looking at it, you can see what character it is. Even if I go all the way down there, you can clearly see that that's Hux's face. Which is really good if you're doing RPGs. Perhaps not so relevant for the game of X-Wing, but still a really cool feature. Now, one more thing, uh, I made a point of when I was submitting the images from these to the guys at Tabletop Tokens, I did a few images that were really high resolution and a couple that were low just to see how they'd come out. Biggs in particular was a bit more low resolution. And if I take it up really close to the camera where it wants to focus, you might be able to see a little bit of pixel tearing. I don't think the camera's quite picking that up. But if you look at it really close, if you look at it, if you eyeball it really close rather, you can see it. But honestly, on a table, you can't notice that. Now, Greedo was a particularly stretched image, and I believe the camera can actually pick that up. Yeah, if you look at his forehead, you can see a little bit of pixel tearing. But honestly, looking at it with the naked eye, it looks absolutely fine. I actually also made a point with this Greedo image to kind of desaturate the colors so it would be a bit more vivid in the printed form. And that seems to have helped a little bit, but honestly, I don't think it really mattered if I didn't do that. Uh, we see all the dark tones on, say, Kylo's cloak and that kind of stuff, and it clearly shows up. Whatever printing technique they've used here has come out really well, and I'm super, super happy with how these look. Solid metal backing, so they slide around the table a little bit. I have noticed on some of their recent tokens, their posted images on their Facebook, they actually put some felt backing on them. And that might be a good thing to experiment with. Uh, if you want your own tokens made by them, perhaps communicate that you might want that. Uh, on the, oh, what's it, the mouse pad material we use for our X-Wing table mats, that kind of stuff, maybe that wouldn't uh, stick. Maybe that'd be a bit more ideal so these don't absolutely slide off in the middle of a game. But in any case, these have come out really, really fantastically. And they're just a great, unique item. Um, I honestly haven't seen another item like this. I was talking before about how it's great to have local manufacturers here in Australia making these stuff, but even for you international guys on this channel, and most of you on this channel actually are not from Australia, this is still a great option because I, I don't know if anyone makes this kind of stuff apart from these guys' tabletop tokens. They're based up in New South Wales and you know even for us down here in Melbourne. 
Uh, the standard postage for anything under half a kilogram here in Australia is $7.95. That's well worth it. You buy a few different uh, things, say a pack of these, some custom things. It only becomes a small fraction of the price. So that's well worth it. Uh, for you guys in America, yes, it's going to be very expensive to ship, unfortunately. But it's still a unique thing that you might not be able to find somewhere else. And it still might be a consideration. The fact that these guys made these custom for me is a big plus in my opinion. Uh, and that's it guys. I'm really happy with how this came out. Go check out Tabletop Tokens on their website and go check out their Facebook page. I communicated with them through the entire process of having these made. They're really good to talk to. They really helped me out through the process and they made this whole thing super, super easy. And as you can see, the results are fantastic. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this little product review. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, like our Facebook page, and I will catch you later.